Hello guys, here are some more exciting takeaways from a recent Tokyo Game Show off-screen demo video of Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta shared by Yudea Hihita and these new features are adding more depth and challenge to the gameplay such as enemy AI improvements Producer Nokiara Okamara hinted at AI upgrades with the new gameplay style in Delta One noticeable difference is how Snake is detected even when he's only partially exposed behind a wall In earlier versions, Snake was safer if it was just one part of him wasn't visible Now positioning seems more crucial Something you'll need to consider even on easier difficulties Since this was demonstrated in a demo featuring easy and normal modes it adds a realistic layer, making you more cautious about where and how you hide. Counter CQC moves. Now we also see Snake perform counter CQC moves, which is a huge upgrade from close combat in the original MGS3. You could only counter CQC against the boss at a specific moment. But now it seems you can counter moves that can be used more freely during regular encounters. This addition opens up a lot more possibilities for close quarters strategy. Hopefully they'll expand on this by introducing different variations of counters, giving us more options in battles. And talking about the bullet drop mechanics, another subtle but impactful feature in the introduction of the bullet drop. In the demo, you can see the bullets are affected by gravity when shooting from the distance. This mechanic adds another layer of realism, requiring players to account for distant and bullet trajectory, making long range combat more dynamic. In overall thoughts, these changes are making the game feel more immersive and challenging, and AI improvements force you to be more strategic, new CQC options enhance close quarters combat, and bullet drops makes you think twice about your range shots. It looks like Delta is shaping up to being even more in depth to an already beloved game. It really is looking great, and I'm sure we're all looking forward to see what else the team has up their sleeve. And I'll just leave you with this footage, and if there's anything you want to say in the comment section down below, please feel free. But we're not done yet, because in this footage the CQC mechanics look far more hands-on than before. You can still hold up enemies like in the original, but now you can shoot their radios to stop them from calling for backup, just like you could before. Looting remains a feature too, with the new options to gather items. The shooting mechanics are much more improved, allowing for over-the-shoulder aiming whilst giving you the option to switch into first-person mode for more accurate shots. Classic moves like punches and kicks are still there if you want to keep things simple, or you can dive into the new CQC techniques. Climbing trees has also been a big improvement. Instead of the awkward ladder-like animations from before, from what we've seen previously, Snake now actually grabs the vines, and once at the top, you can decide to either drop down and surprise the enemy, or use your weapon from above. It adds a lot of variety to stealth gameplay. The enemy AI is noticeably smarter too. If your hand-to-hand -hand skills aren't accurate enough, they can counter you with a knife, just like in the original game but more responsive now. And near the bridge you can still pick up the XM16E1 machine gun which looks incredible in terms of its mechanics. The physics systems, particularly the enemy's blood splatter, has been redefined. Although there was some slight issue when shooting the enemy's leg, it caused him not to drop down and it just sort of acted strangely. When normally when you shoot an enemy in a particular location, it would damage them and falter them from their certain movements. But that's likely something that will be tweaked before the final release. Overall, these improvements feel like a great modernization of the original systems, but the depth and detail in both combat and movement will definitely offer a more immersive experience. You can now wake enemies up that are knocked out or asleep, which adds another level of strategy to the gameplay. The controls feel much more natural and intuitive, making it easy to pick up, but you still need to be having quick reflexes to handle intense combat situations. Every little detail shines and keeps the core elements intact without losing what made the original game so special. A great example is the iconic moment where you throw a grenade into the Indian Gable's mouth. This fan favourite mechanic has thankfully been kept into the remake. It's reassuring to see that whilst this is a 1 to 1 ratio remake in many ways, or a remaster as some people call, it actually introduces fresh changes that enhance the experience without taking anything valuable away. A nuclear equipped tank capable of operating solo. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, 
it will mean the end of the Cold War. So with all that being said, it's clear that Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta has seen some vast improvements compared to the original MGS3 on PS2. The new AI mechanics may seem so more challenging, but don't worry, because they're finally being tuned even for the lower difficulty settings, giving the game an exciting edge, and even making it far more challenging. Snake's counter CQC moves and the bullet drop mechanics add layers to the realism that make each encounter feel more intense. Anyway, I'm your host, The Voice Box, and don't forget to subscribe for more Metal Gear news, and I'll speak to you all soon.